Animal cell culture with adherent cells. For this experiment, you will need a full culture flask, DMEM, PBS, trypsin, empty 15ml and 50ml falcon tubes, empty culture flasks, a pipette boy, stripettes, and Eppendorf's. Animal cells are cultured in a CO2 incubator. Check that the incubator is on and whether it is adjusted to the correct settings. The standard conditions are 37 degrees Celsius and 5% CO2. The humidity is also regulated in the incubator. Check that there is enough water in the water tank and ask your teacher to fill it if there is not enough water. Check that the culture flasks are evenly spaced in the incubator and position them with the lids facing the back of the incubator. The cells are preferably kept at a temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. Therefore, the medium and PBS should also be warmed to 37 degrees Celsius before use. Turn on the water bath and make sure that the water level is high enough and if necessary, fill it with demi water. The media used should be at the required temperature when you need it, but don't let tubes with medium stay too long in the water bath because some components can break down when heated for too long. Importantly, trypsin should not be put in the water bath. The cells are grown under sterile conditions. For this, we use a biological safety cabinet, also called a flow cabinet. Turn on the flow cabinet with this button and the lamp with this button. Because the airflow is not yet ready for working with the cells, you will hear an alarm. You can turn off the alarm with this button. Make sure that the screen is adjusted to the correct height. Before you start using the cabinet, you need to disinfect the inside with 70% ethanol. The sleeves of your lab coat should be rolled up so they can't contaminate the surface of the cabinet. Work from the back to the front and don't forget the sides of the cabinet. All equipment should be disinfected with 70% ethanol before they enter the flow cabinet. Ensure that your work area is well organised. Before you start, look at the cells in the culture flask using the inverted microscope. Take note of the confluency, if there are many dead cells floating around, and the morphology of the cells. Also, check the colour and cloudiness of the medium. Because the cells must be kept sterile, we have to work in the flow cabinet. The airflow in this cabinet flows in a particular direction that ensures a sterile environment. In this video, you can see the airflow paths. From the video, you will see that the best place to work is approximately in the centre of the cabinet and that it is important to keep a tidy work environment. To pipette in the flow cabinet, we use a so-called pipette boy with sterile stripettes. Remove the stripette from the wrapper like this to ensure that the stripette does not come into contact with possible contaminants on the plastic wrapper. While the end of the stripette is still in the wrapper, you can rotate it so that the measurement markings are facing you. Once the wrapper is removed, do not touch the stripette with your hands and do not put it down on the work surface. You can aspirate the liquid with this button and dispense liquid with this button. The speed can be adjusted with this wheel at the back of the pipette boy. If liquid is not coming out well, check that this button on the back is pushed down. When pipetting, always make sure that no liquid enters the pipette boy. If by accident liquid does enter the pipette boy, inform your teacher immediately. Because the culture flask is confluent, the cells must be transferred to a new flask. This is also known as passaging the cell line. Because you are working with adhesive cells, the proteins that allow the cells to adhere to each other and the culture flask must be cleaved. This is done using the enzyme trypsin. The medium that the cells are cultured in contains FCS, which reduces the activity of trypsin. Therefore, the cells first need to be washed with PBS to remove the culture medium containing FCS. By washing the cells, the dead cells floating in the medium are also washed away. In a small flask, also called a T25 flask, the cells are cultured in approximately 5 ml of medium. Use a 5 or 10 ml stripette to remove this medium. Your cells are attached to the bottom of the culture flask. To avoid damaging cells with your pipette, aspirate the medium from the opposite corner. The old medium should be discarded into a waste container for liquid waste. You can use a 50ml falcon tube for this. Throw the pipette in the biohazard waste bin. The plastic wrapper can be thrown into normal waste. 
The cells are now dry as they are not covered with medium, which is not good for the cells. Therefore, move on quickly to the next step, which is washing with PBS. Fill a pipette with 5 ml of PBS and pipette this to the bottom of the culture flask. Tilt the flask gently around so the PBS covers and washes the cells. Using the same pipette, the PBS can be aspirated from the corner of the flask. This step is then repeated with a new stripette and fresh PBS. After washing and removing the PBS from the cells for the second time, you can add the trypsin to the cells. Add 1 ml of trypsin. Close the lid on the flask and ensure the trypsin is distributed evenly over the cells. Then place the flask in the incubator. Trypsin is an enzyme after all which performs best at a temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. After about one minute incubation, remove the flask from the incubator. To loosen the adhesions between the cells and the flask, tap firmly a few times against the side of the flask. With the naked eye, you should be able to see cells detaching from the bottom of the flask. Look at the cells through the inverted microscope. All cells must be detached from each other and at the bottom of the flask. When the cells are detached, the trypsin needs to be inactivated. If the cells are left in contact with active trypsin for too long, the cell membrane may be damaged. To do this, we add 4 ml of medium with FCS to the cell suspension. Because some cells may be slightly attached to the bottom of the flask, pipette the liquid over the bottom of the flask. This can be repeated several times by aspirating and then dispensing the suspension over the bottom of the flask. Now we are going to resuspend the cells in the medium in order to obtain a homogeneous cell suspension. To do this, use the same 5 ml pipette. Resuspend the cells by aspirating and dispensing the liquid. Make sure that you pipette quickly up and down, otherwise the suspension won't be homogeneous. However, take care not to draw liquid up into the pipette. If you are not confident with the pipetting, you can switch to a 10 ml pipette. An extra method to resuspend the cells thoroughly is by placing the pipette tip on the narrow side of the culture flask and pushing out the cell suspension against the flask. Be careful not to form too many bubbles. To do this, stop pipetting just before all the liquid has been pushed out of the pipette, raise the tip and gently dispense the rest of the liquid out. When your cells are resuspended, transfer them temporarily to a 15 ml falcon tube. This is to prevent the cells from attaching to the culture flask again before you have passaged them. A small volume of the cell suspension is transferred to a non-sterile Eppendorf tube. This Eppendorf is taken out of the flow cabinet to determine the concentration of the cell suspension. Mix one part of your cell suspension with one part triptan blue. This dye stains only dead cells. Be careful with it though, as triptan blue is a health hazard. Waste that has been in contact with triptan blue should be discarded into a special container. Take a counting chamber and clean it with soft paper tissue and 70% ethanol, then fix a cover glass to the counting chamber. Pipette 20 microliters of the mixture in the counting chamber. Make sure you place the yellow tip in such a way that the cell suspension goes between the slide and cover glass and that it doesn't overflow into the grooves. Then count all unstained cells using a microscope and calculate the number of cells in your cell suspension. Once you have calculated how the cells should be subcultured, you can label a new flask with the identifying information, including the passage number increased by one. Resuspend your cell suspension and transfer the required amount into a new culture flask. Add the required amount of medium. Make sure all tubes with media and PBS are well labelled and put them in a labelled rack per class in the refrigerator. Clean the cabinet with 70% ethanol. To prevent stains, any media spilled in the cabinet must be first wiped up with paper towel before cleaning with ethanol. Turn off the airflow with this button and turn off the lamp with this button. Collect the biohazard waste from the whole class in this bin and take it to the nearest autoclave.